Kia ora boys, how's it going? This is going to be a very quick explainer video about what we are doing for Achievement Standard 1.1. Research the Swinging 60s, a decade of revolutionary change. Now in this assignment, what you're going to be doing is reading some books, reading some websites and interviewing people on what life was like during the 1960s, both in New Zealand and internationally. There is two parts to this assignment. The first part is where you gather your information and you put it all on OneNote. I mark that. When you pass, you get four credits. So that's the gathering research phase. The second phase, once it's been marked, once your research has been marked and you've got your grade back for that, you'll go on to the write-up and that's called Achievement Standard 1.2. That's the second part. And in 1.2, you'll have to write maybe two pages typed, uh, including a graphical timeline of the events of the 1960s. Once you hand that in and pass that, that's worth another four credits. So all up, researching and then writing your research <clears throat> is going to be worth eight credits. Now, this is also eight credits that count towards your literacy. So your level one literacy, you only need 10. Eight of them can come from these assignments. Now, what you're going to be doing is researching the 1960s. We've um, found the most interesting parts of the 1960s and put them into five key developments. So a key development is like a general theme of the 1960s. You need to pick one of these. So you could pick to research the space race, popular music, Sex, Drugs and the Moral Revolution, The Violent Decade, or The Consumer Revolution. Now, out of all of those, my personal preference, if I were doing this assignment, is uh, probably Popular Music or The Violent Decade. Those are both quite strong topics and generally people get good grades on those. The worst one to do is The Consumer Revolution. Don't do that. There's no information. One of the trickier ones, if you're up for a challenge, is the space race. It's tricky not because of a lack of information, but because there's no link to New Zealand. And as we'll see in a minute, you need to link your development to New Zealand. It can be easier for a topic like music, because New Zealand had a, a growing music industry during the 1960s. However, for the space race, well, we didn't have a space program. So it's hard to find those New Zealand links. Once you pick your topic, let's just say, hypothetically, I like a challenge, I'm going to go with the space race. You've got three questions here. What you have to do is answer, research, and answer these three questions. So, let's say I'm doing the space race. Question number one. What were the important events and features of this development? So what were the important events during the space race? Well, you could write about, or you could research, the moon landing. It's a pretty big one, 1969. The entire Apollo program, the first man in space in the Soviet Union, uh, the first satellite in space, the, the Gemini. Find out important events that took place during the space race. If you were doing the violent decade as your development, you could look at what was it about the 1960s? What specific events made it violent? Well, you guys would know from social studies, this is during the Black Civil Rights Movement, when they were setting the dogs on um, African-American civil rights activists. That was a violent thing. You could write about that. Um, JFK got his head blown off. That's pretty violent. You could write about that. So, what were the important events and features of this development? Now, in the next video, I'm going to give you specifically what events you can use to answer question one. So that's in the next video. Question two. What reasons can you find to explain this development? What were the reasons for the space race? Why was, it, why was America even trying to race the Soviet Union into space? Research and find out. Largely linked to the Cold War. Question number three. How did this development affect people in the 1960s, especially in New Zealand? Now, this is what I said before, that some of these topics are easier than others because they have strong New Zealand links. You need to find out 
how the people were affected by the space race. How were the people affected by JFK's assassination? How were the people affected by popular music? Especially in New Zealand. So find a Kiwi, maybe your granddad, who was alive in the 1960s, and ask him, how were you affected by the space race? And it is an essential part of this. You do have to find someone to answer question three. You need to find someone and ask them, how were you affected? You need to interview them. There's some due dates down here, which I think have... Um, I'll leave you to read most of this. This second part here starts talking about the write-up, but I'll do a whole nother video on this. This is this part here is all about 1.2, which is where you have to write up, here we go, write up your information, 1.2. I'm not going to talk about that now, that'll just confuse things further. So that's a really quick overview. Now what you need to do is go and watch video 2, where I'm going to explain the planning sheets, which is the next essential task which you guys need to do.